When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The Pharisees challenged him. He, here you are appearing as your own witness. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid, for I know where I came from and where I am going. But you have no idea where I come from or where I am going. You judge me by human standards. I pass judgment on no one. But if I do judge, my decisions are true, because I have, I am not alone. I stand with the Father who sent me. In your own law, it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is true. I am one who testifies for myself. My other witness is the Father who sent me. They then asked him, Where is your Father? You do not know me or my Father, Jesus replied. If you knew me, you would also know, know my father. He spoke these words while teaching in the temple courts near the place where the offering they put. Yet no one seized him because his hour had yet not come. We'll get back to that hour that has yet to come for Jesus um, in a few seasons because we're talking about Christmas. Where we celebrate the gift that God our Father has given us in sending his Son, Jesus Christ, to us. And his... His son, Jesus Christ, is so filled with love that he is going to offer himself for our sins so that our sins may be forgiven and the gates of heaven be opened. Here's the, the the thing is, it is that gift of love. Even thousands of years later, you would think that, that while that gift of love has spread far and wide, and people have used it to open churches, start faiths, and they've also used it to hurt others. Or the... The search for that love, they've used it to hurt others. We need to open our hearts. And that's the one thing that that Jesus Christ asks us to do, is to open our hearts to that love. If we open our hearts to that love, there's... There's no end to the the power, the goodness. There's no power to... There is no... Nothing that can't be done. The term impossible seemingly falls away. There are no boundaries to that love. And it welcomes and includes everyone. We no longer have to point a finger and say, 
No, not those people. Because when we understand the love that Jesus Christ brought with him to us as that offering from our Heavenly Father, that we know that everyone is to be included. That love, knows, again, knows no boundaries. It is our human condition that puts boundaries and starts to talk more about possibilities. How limited possibilities are. It is man that creates limited beliefs, not God. His love has no limits. When we open ourselves to that love, truly open ourselves to that love, we stop things like judgments. We start to see things in a different way. We start to see how man's law is filled with chaos and God's law begins to heal and mend all things together. We start to understand how we can draw energy from things, all things. without harm or consumption. It becomes a universe where we all are joined together and we see the connections that they are. We stop drawing boundaries and make connections in, in their places. It is a way of living that you see endless beauty. And that is the time we are celebrating here as we are approaching Christmas. That gift that will be given to us. That gift that God sent with his only son. So. We should pray. God. Thank you for sending your son all those years ago. Thank you for giving us those the possibilities that have no bounds. Thank you for everything that you put in front of us. As it says in the Psalms, you lead us to green pastures. You offer us lush green fields that we can lie be safe and love Amen